Today I'm showing you how to easily set up and build a high quality professional looking course with Kajabi. We're going to build a course from scratch just to show you how easy and fast it is to get everything all set up. But if you're not signed up yet with Kajabi and you'd like to give it a try, don't use the link on the Kajabi website. Use the link in the description below and that'll get you an extended 30 day free trial instead of the standard 14 day one, as well as my course, the Course Boss Academy as a free gift. This course essentially gives you everything you need for a successful first course launch. All right, so once you log into Kajabi, you wanna go over here under products and go to courses and then press the plus new course button. And this is gonna bring up the new course generator. So we're gonna to need to fill in a couple of things. So first give our course a title and a brief description. So let's do AI for creators. And the brief description is learn how to use AI to grow your audience, create digital products and earn an income online. And you can see it's adding it to the course dashboard over here that it's going to generate once we're finished with this. And having this toggled on is going to have Kajabi generate some default modules and lessons based on the subject of your course. Now, this is just to get started. It's not going to do everything for you, but we'll leave that checked and see what that looks like. And so the next page, you wanna customize your course's appearance. So this is where we're gonna add in our branding, our brand colors, our thumbnail image that gives us the basic look and feel of our course. So let's choose our brand colors. Um, I'm gonna go with this purple here and let's do the yellow for the accent. Maybe we'll switch that. Yeah, that looks better. So these colors here are pre-selected because I've set them in my settings as my brand colors. So they're there for easy access, but you can also click the rainbow button in the bottom and choose any specific color you want via hex code. Next is the thumbnail image, and this should be created in the dimensions that it recommends. So 1280 by 720. And I've just gone and created these in Canva. It's, you know, really simple and really easy to do. So I'm gonna go and select a recent file. So you could go create one of those in Canva and then come and upload it here. So let's just use the one for my AI creator engine course. And this thumbnail is gonna show up in various places around your website where you have your course for sale. Next, we wanna create pricing for our course. Now this is going to generate an offer that goes with our course. Just keep in mind, you can create more of these later so you're not stuck with whatever you create here. So you can either create a free course or a paid one. So under paid, you have a couple different options. So for payment frequency, we can do a one-time payment. We can do a multi-payment. So that would work as something like a payment plan. If instead of, you know, a thousand dollars one time, you might want to do four payments of 250. And the third option we have here is subscription. And this is really good for things like memberships where somebody say might pay a monthly fee to be part of that membership or that product. So let's just keep it as a one-time payment and let's sell this for say $97. There is this option here for let customers pay what they want. Now I've seen this typically a lot with Gumroad products um, and that just lets you basically set a base price and then allow customers to choose how much they wanna pay over that. So this I normally see with products that are free, but then, you know, if you wanna let your potential customers pay you a little bit for it, if they feel like it, you can do that with this. And then under payment method, you will have set this up under your settings before. I have set up Stripe. Um, so we're gonna keep that as it is. And it's just giving you a bit of a preview of what that'll all look like on the side. So let's go to next. And Kajabi's gonna go ahead and start generating a course for us. So let's just wait while it does that and get back into it. All right, so Kajabi has gone and generated a course for us. So it's taken the title and description and sort of guessed at what kind of modules and lessons we might include in the course. So this is just to give you some ideas if you don't have any, um, but we're gonna end up going through and replacing this with the actual lessons and modules that we want to create. So these top level ones here are your modules and you can collapse and expand those. And these three here are lessons. So we have introduction to AI, AI and digital marketing and AI and content creation. And we can expand out the other modules as well to see the lessons that it's created for us. Now these don't have actual content in them. So if I click onto one of these lessons, it's gonna give us a little bit of filler content on that topic, but of course we're gonna to wanna to fill that out with our own expertise and knowledge instead. But back to the outline, this page here is your outline and this is the back end view. This is what it looks like for you as a teacher. So if we wanna add a new module, we wanna go up here to the add content at the top and select module and then give it a name, a description and a thumbnail if you want to. This isn't necessary, but you can add one if you want to just tile the branding together. So let's create a module 
and it's going to stick it here at the bottom. Now, if you want to rearrange any of these modules or lessons, you can simply drag and drop them. So I can go bring that up here. And if I want to add any content in that module, I can go and click the add content button and add a sub module, a lesson or a quiz, or even import lessons from another course that I have within Kajabi. So let's add a lesson again, same thing, lesson one and create lesson. And there we go. You can also move lessons and things around and move them into different modules. So if I wanted this to go into module one, I can do that. Just drag and drop. Now everything here is currently set to draft mode. So if I did have students in the course right now, they wouldn't see any of this. So this is useful if you have students in a course and you want to add new content and not show it until it's all ready. Um, but once you are ready, you want to go and set the module to published as well as any of the lessons to published as well. Now, another neat thing that Kajabi does is they allow you to control the flow of information in your course based on a couple of different things. So if you click the drop down here, we can see that there's also a drip option and a lock option. So if we use drip, this is useful for dripping out content over time. So if you want to say, have a student unlock one module every week for the first four weeks, you can do that. So if I wanted to set up this module to go out, after one week, I can set drip days after enrollment to seven. So whenever somebody signs up, this module unlocks seven days after they've done that. So let's set that to done and that'll drip out after seven days. So let's go down to module number two and maybe we want to lock this based on some sort of criteria. So you can lock modules by a couple of different things. So first you can lock it by a lesson. So say we want a student to have completed a specific lesson before they are able to unlock the content in this module. I can set that to have them complete the introduction to AI lesson before they can unlock that. And once they do, they'll get access to the content inside. Now I don't have any quizzes or assessments set up here yet, but you can also lock content based on an assessment. So you could have this set up. So a student has to pass a quiz in a previous module in order to unlock the next one. So let's pop into a lesson and I'll show you how to set everything up in there. So inside the lesson, you can adjust the title and add in different kinds of media. So you can do one with no extra media. If you just want to have a text lesson, you can add all of your text in here in the text box. You can add in, you know, images, links, text, you know, your typical text editing software is right in here. Um, but you could also add in a video in my courses. Most of the lessons are video lessons. So I would upload that here. So let's select a file, um, upload new. And let's say we want to upload this lesson. All right, so I've uploaded a video and Kajabi is going to go ahead and encode and upload that properly. Um, but in the meantime, let's continue on to the right. You can set a thumbnail image for the lesson. Now I'll show you what that looks like in a minute, but that will show up as a cover for the lesson within your student's dashboard. Kajabi will choose usually a screenshot of your video if you don't choose one, but you just have the extra control if you do want to brand it a certain way. You can also go and click this button here, um, select a frame from your video if you want a specific one and set that as the thumbnail as well. Down a little further on the right, we have the comment section. So we can set that to visible, hidden or locked depending on what you want your students to be able to do. And below underneath the text area is the download section. So if I want to upload, say a supplementary cheat sheet or PDF or something, I can upload that here and then it'll show up in the lesson along with the content. Okay. So I've uploaded a cheat sheet and let's save that lesson and take a look at what that looks like by hitting the preview button. So this is what this lesson would look like for a student in the course. So we have the video up top, the video lesson up top, the download file can be clicked over here on the right. So they can download that PDF and then the text follows underneath and the comments here at the very bottom. Um, when a student has finished the lesson, they can mark that as complete and then move on to the next lesson. So the branding and the way this is set up might not be the way you want it. So let's go and look at how we can customize our course to get it looking the way we want. So if you scroll up to the top of our course, you can see I'm in the outline section and we want to go over to customize to change how it looks. So under customize, we have two options. We can customize the current template or install a new one. So let's just take a look at the current default template that we have set up and see how we can change that. All right. So this is the customized page builder, and this is basically how the course is going to look like to students who are in the course. So we have this hero 
section up here with the title, description, and a start course button. We have the course progress on the right and the different modules in here that I can click on and see the different lessons. Now I mentioned when we were editing one of the lessons that if you wanted to set a thumbnail, that's going to show up here. It hasn't generated a default one from the video I uploaded yet, um, but it will once it's finished uploading and encoding everything. But otherwise you can set that by choosing your specific thumbnails for what shows up there. So if we wanna change how this looks, we can do that. So we can click on anything or edit it from the side here. So I have this hero section, I can hide or leave that there. I can choose if I want to have the title and description showing or hide them. If I wanna change the title or the description, I can do that in the course details section, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I can change the way that my product syllabus looks and I can add or delete things from the sidebar on the right. So right now it just has the course progress, but if I wanna add in an instructor bio and add in my information here, I can do that as well. And I can add in other blocks like images, custom blocks or a cross sell if I want to sell my students on another offer that I have. So let's say I want them to maybe go into my AI creator engine. I can put a block on the right to pique their interests. And I can change the look and feel of things like my buttons. So I can change what the text says here for resume or start course. Um, I can make it outline. I can change the size, the width, and basically just adjust things to the way that I want. For the hero section, I can also add a background image. So if I don't want just a straight color, let's upload, say, let's use this background image. And we have an overlay color set. So I'm gonna bring down the transparency just so we can see what is beneath that. So there we go. So this is customizing our main dashboard for our students, but if I wanna change the other pages, I have to go do that separately as well. So that is under products. Um, if I go to post, this is gonna let me customize the layout and look and feel of an individual lesson within the course. So I can go and change how the player looks. Let's make it full screen without the uh, sidebar thing. You can change the color of the player. So if I want that to be purple instead of yellow, I can do that and basically change how these different things are labeled and how it looks. Um, there's a few different things you can change here. Those are the most important ones, but you wanna go through each of those and make sure everything is customized the way that you want. So that's the default template. If I don't like the look and feel of that, I can choose a different one and edit that instead. So let's go over here and install a different template. And you'll see there's a bunch of different ones to choose from. So you can upload one. There's lots of people selling paid ones that they've created online. Um, so if you find one that you like and you pay for it, you can upload it here, but there's a couple different free ones you can use as well. I've actually been experimenting with this one um, for a couple of my courses. So this has all of the list of course lessons on the left and this kind of setup on the right. But let's go and select this one and install the template. And then we're gonna have to go down here to install templates, select the one we just added and let's activate that. So now this template is activated and I can go in and customize it using the same page builder as I was using before. So again, same as I showed you with the other template. The next tab I wanna show you is the settings tab. And this is where you can change some of the things we set up in the beginning. So if you wanna change the title of your course, you can do that here, change the description, change your thumbnail. All of that is in here. You can also do things like add a live room. So if you wanna do any live video trainings inside your course, you can do that by adding a live room. So these are gonna show up within the dashboard for your students to go in and join. So you can go in and change the title of the room, set a description, um, the schedule, and choose what you wanna happen with the recording. So you can toggle this on so that your live recordings are recorded and added into the course afterwards. So now if we go back to our outline, you're gonna see we have a live session details section here, a button for where recordings are, and the button to go live when you're ready to go live in your room inside your course. You also can grab the link here if you wanna send it to anybody, or disable it if you don't wanna use it anymore. In addition to that, you can also go down here and connect a community to your course. Now, communities inside Kajabi are treated as separate products, but you can set them up so that a community is connected with your course so that members of that course can access the community as well. And you would go and toggle that on if you had already created a community for that. I haven't created one yet, so I can't show you, but that's where you would turn that on to include that community within your course. This community feature is really great because it replaces things like Facebook groups, Slack groups, or Discord. So it allows you to have an extra community, a place for your students to connect, 
to chat, help each other, and share their wins and basically have that supportive community to go along with your course. Now at the beginning, we also set up a single offer to go with this course. And if we go over here to the offers tab, we can see any of the offers that this specific course is included in. Now offers also has its own section here on the left sidebar under sales. And you can go to offers and see offers for all of your courses. But if you want to just have a quick look at the offers that this course is in, you can see them here from inside it. So if I click on that offer, we can go and edit it. I can change the title, add a description, or even add other products if I want to make, say, a bundle of several of my courses and products. I can change the product access. So if I want this course to begin on a specific date or restrict access to a certain amount of time. So maybe it is a course that I'm giving one year access to. I can click that and choose what that time might be. You can also select a thumbnail image for our offer. Let's again, grab one from my actual AI course and pop that in there. We can go on over here to the pricing tab and make any changes to our price or type of payment that it is or limit the number of times this offer can be sold or the time limit that it can be sold for. So you have a lot of control over the sales process here. Um, a lot of these you're probably not gonna use. I don't use a lot of these features, but that is totally up to you and what works for you in your business. And if we go up here to the right and click on edit checkout, we can edit the checkout page for the specific offer. So, so you probably want to customize this a bit to match the branding of the rest of your site or the course itself. You can change the banner image here. You can add a logo. Um, and you want to fill this out with some information, maybe some testimonials to increase your chances of converting. Um, for the actual checkout process, we can edit the form fields. So if I want to collect the name and the address of my customers, I can save that and collect those as well and edit that till you're happy with it. Now, the really nice thing about Kajabi is you can make as many offers as you want. So I can make several. So if I'm selling a course, I want to have one one-time payment and say a couple of payment plans, I can set up multiple offers. So just go over to the offers tab and click on new offer and you can create as many offers as you need to. So I could go here and create a payment plan for the same course and that's going to add it and it'll show up there on that tab underneath the course that you've just created as well. Those are the basics of setting up a course in Kajabi. I've done all of this in what, under half an hour, 20 minutes. Um, so it's really quick. And I did all of that while I was talking to you. So it's much faster if you are focusing solely on setting things up. So get your 30 day free trial, get your course set up and start promoting it to your audience so that you can start earning income and recouping the cost before your 30 day trial is even over. So at this point you have a course, you have an offer and a checkout, but if you want to fill that course with paying customers, you're going to need a really good sales page to help you sell it to your audience. So click this video next to learn how to set up and build a Kajabi sales page. that's going to help you sell your course even faster.